Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 7, Part 4, Rate of Reaction. In this part, you will learn 7.4 Collision Theory. 7.4 Collision Theory When two different reactants are mixed, the reactant particles will collide with each other. Reactant particles approach each other. Collision between the reactant particles. Products are formed. During these collisions, the chemical bonds in the reactants break apart and form new chemical bonds in the products. According to the collision theory, the reactant particles must collide with one another in correct orientation and have kinetic energy equal or more than the activation energy in order for new products to be formed. Effective collisions are collisions that are successful in producing a chemical reaction. Ineffective collisions are collisions of particles that are unsuccessful in producing a chemical reaction. A. Collide with one another in correct orientation. When reactant molecules collide in correct orientation and possess energy that is equal to or more than the minimum energy, will result a chemical reaction and produce new products. When reactant molecules collide in incorrect orientation, the molecules bounce back and no chemical reaction occurs. B. Have kinetic energy equal or more than the activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum amount of kinetic energy required by reacting particles to break down the old chemical bonds in reactants during collision. Different reactions have different activation energy. The energy profile diagram shows the activation energy, Ea, and the energy level of reactants and products. Endothermic reaction, the reactant particles have strong chemical bonds. Hence, activation energy for this reaction is high. Quantity of heat energy absorbed to break down the chemical bonds in reactants is more than the heat energy released during new bonds formation in products. Heat is absorbed from the surrounding. Exothermic reaction. The reactant particles have weak chemical bonds. Hence, activation energy for this reaction is low. Quantity of heat energy absorbed to break down the chemical bonds in reactants is less than the heat energy released during new bonds formation in products. Heat is released to the surrounding. Relating the frequency of effective collisions with factors influencing the rate of reaction, a size of reactants, solid, a decrease in size of solid reactant, causes an increase in rate of reaction. Particle B can only collide with particle A found on the outer layer but not the particles in the center of the lump. When solid reactant A is crushed into smaller size, more particle A and become into collision. Solid reactant with smaller size has larger total surface area exposed to collisions. Frequency of collisions between reacting particles increases. Possibility of collisions in correct orientation increases. Hence, the frequency of effective collisions increases. B. Concentration of reactant, solution, and pressure of reactant, gas, an increase in concentration or pressure, causes an increase in rate of reaction. Concentration increases, volume remains the same, but the number of reactant particles increases. Pressure increases, the volume decreases, but the number of reactant particles remains the same. The solution with higher concentration and gas under higher pressure have larger number of particles per unit volume. Frequency of collisions between reactants increases. Possibility of collisions in correct orientation increases. Hence, the frequency of effective collisions increases. C. Temperature of reacting mixture, solution, an increase in temperature causes an increase in rate of reaction. Reactant particles, 
under higher temperature, gain more kinetic energy, and move faster. Frequency of collisions, between reactants increases. Possibility of collisions, in correct orientation increases. More particles, achieve the activation energy. Frequency of effective collisions increases. D. Presence of catalyst, for specific reactions only. A. Catalyst can provide an alternative path, with lower activation energy, E for the chemical reaction, to take place. More reacting particles, achieve the new activation energy, E which is lower. Frequency of effective collisions increases. The rate of reaction, increases with the presence of catalyst. The Chemistry Form 4 Chapter 7 Concept Map is as below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.